Hello friends, this is Sundarishan, your compliance guru. In the last video, we had uh, seen what the compliances for uh, independent directors are. Well, before we move on with uh, the compliances of an independent director in the company, let me give you a heads up in case a person is interested in joining a board as an independent director. There are certain simple personal compliances that the person will have to take care of. The first and foremost, of course, is doing a Google check on the company, on the promoters, on the various news items that has appeared in public domain. The second compliance that would make a lot of sense is to conduct a search on the company in the Ministry of Corporate Affairs website, which is mca.gov.in. It's a very simple procedure. You just need to pay 100 rupees or whatever is the sum that is being prescribed and get a public search, which is online search done on the company and download some of the documents to understand has there been a change in the board very frequently? Now, if you are going to ask me, how do I get to know that? It's very simple. The number of forms that are filed for appointment and resignation of directors are all in the public domain. And once you do the search, you will be able to find out if there is a real-time turbulence inside the boardroom. The third one is if it is a listed company that you intend to join, then you could do a search on the websites that are available which give data about the company which will include press releases which would include the stock exchange releases the financials the good news the bad news all of these are available in public domain in fact the company's own website can carry a lot of this information well, your search doesn't end there. The next is, please do an analysis of the financials for the last two years by yourself or engage a third person to get a small report done about the company's financial position. Very, very important. Then we are left with some of the common searches, which is a Sybil search, which is to know if the company has defaulted or the promoters have defaulted in some of the loans, how good is the uh, position of the company, all of these things will be available. Next is, of course, the peer talk. What is it? Simple. Pick up the phone. Speak to a person who is already an independent director, a current one. Or, if possible, speak to a person who is quit as an independent director. Trust me, friends. All these efforts, if you put in before you join, 
it will do a world of good for you if you try to do some of these after you join take it from me it's a little too late for you to exit after knowing that there may be some issues very important you know many people say that it is not what you know which is important inside the boardroom but it is whom you know that is important and when i say whom you know it is not only limited to people inside the boardroom it matters that you know quite a bit of people outside of the boardroom it's very important networking at whatever levels it may be it is very very important yeah so these are some of the safeguards that i would uh, uh, bring across to the table from a, a new joinee perspective and then of course once you start analyzing the uh, annual uh, report of the company you will get to know uh, the contingent liabilities the legal issues that the company may be going through so you get a fair overview on what is happening around the company so please ensure that you take personal interest in conducting these searches to give you a very short recap google the name of the company the promoters of the company do a online search which is in the mca.gov.in website do a financial reporting search or a report next do a civil check and of course the most important is peer talk talk to somebody who was there in the company or who is there in the company in fact you would get a better perspective if you talk to somebody who was there in the company rather than somebody who is there in the company so these are some of the basic compliances for onboarding of an independent director we'll see what are the other issues relating to compliance while the onboarding is on and after the onboarding is done till then keep writing keep questioning stay compliant stay safe see you soon